Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great start to the week. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own clear cash envelopes. So I made these yesterday and I got so many questions on my Instagram, which make sure to follow me because I do post quite a bit on that just behind the scenes and things like that. But yeah, I got quite a few questions on how to make these and to do a tutorial so people can make their own. Because as much as I love buying from, you know, small businesses of them making the cash envelopes, um, it is expensive and I do see why it's very difficult, especially because they need to be perfect if you're selling them. But also I do change my mind a lot. I've added a few new envelopes. So I just kind of wanted to make my own. And to be honest, I'm really happy with these. I really like them. So that's what I've done in this binder. So I'll show you how to make them. And then I also made for this envelope the same. Um, but I've used stickers instead of um, printing out paper because I wanted this one to be a bit more sparkly but yeah it's the same exact you know layout it just doesn't have that label but yeah I'm really happy with them and I wanted to share with you guys how to make them so before we get started I will link everything in the description of what I'm using but I'll just quickly run through what you're going to need so you're going to need a hole punch I would recommend getting a specific one for personal size A6 binders if that makes sense because in the past I've tried to use non-specific and they do always go wrong. I found this one on Amazon it was only about £10 so I think that's really good and then I will just show you that it pulls out and you can do it as an A5 and I've tested it and it works in my A5 binder so I can't wait to make my own like printables. Then I just have a guillotine from Amazon. You don't need to get this, like you could just use scissors. This one I don't recommend, it's actually really bad. <laughs> but yeah, and then I've just got a laminator from Amazon. Again, these two are like Amazon basics, so they're not the best, but they do the job and it's good enough for me. I might invest in some better ones soon because they're not great. Um, but yeah, so I will be showing you how to create these on Canva, but these are the ones we're going to be working with today. I have, just in case you were wondering for, if you wanted to make these ones, in the UK, I got these stickers from the works, they were about a pound each, and um, they came in here, they just look like that, they are really nice, and then... I also have these again from like the pound shop. You can get these also at the work, but I didn't get these specific ones. Um, and that's what I've used for like that. So again, that's totally optional. It depends which ones you want to make. Um, and then I just got laminating pouches. So that's the equipment. So what I've done is I've opened Canva. I've opened an A4 document on just the free Canva, I don't pay for Pro, so even if you don't pay for it, you are able to do this. And what I've done is I've clicked on this, and then take that to the top. And what I've done is 17.3 by two centimeters. So that will give you this sizing. So I've done the first one, I just duplicate it so I don't have to keep doing it. And same with the font, I am just going to duplicate it, so I can just copy that. It tells me I'm in the middle, and that is a Matic SC41. And then you save it as a PDF and print it, and then they will come out like this. I've just printed these off, um, and then I'm just going to cut them to size. I don't, <laughs> I can't cut them perfectly. Um, so some of them do have like little white borders and like I said, my guillotine, oh, 
it's done its job for the camera it's done good <laughs> usually it's not very good um it knows when to you know when to show up and do the most so yeah so we've cut this so i'm just gonna make three we make this one and let's make one more Maybe it's the user that's wrong with the guillotine. And now I've learned how to use it. I don't know. Um, what was I saying? I get so sidetracked. Like, I, when I edit my videos, I just think, like, you need to stop chatting because you then don't remember what you're actually doing and then make mistakes. But then at the same time, I don't know about you guys, but, like, I quite like chatty videos. I don't like it when they're not. I think it's a bit boring. Um, but anyway, see, exactly, back to actually where I'm meant to be. <laughs> so, I've cut out three, obviously just cut all of them out if you're doing a whole row. And then you can fit three in per one A4 laminating pouch, so that's why I'm going to be doing three. So, what you want to do, this is what I do, and... I am no expert, so I wouldn't take my word exactly. Do what works best for you. But what I'm going to do is just cut off because it's a curved edge. And then I'm going to flip it around. And I do eight and a half. Yep. Eight and a half. So I'm going to do all of those. One more. And then you've got three of these. And then I am going to pull this out and I measure it at 17 centimetres. So it will look like that. So I'm just going to put that to the side and carry on doing the other two. When I was like doing it, I um, I was getting so stressed out because it kept going wrong. Um, and then I went and had a pasta break. <laughs> had a really nice like pasta bake and then um, I came back and it went a lot better. So... It does take practice and I did make a couple mistakes where I just like cut them too short and then I couldn't use them. So it does take time, like don't expect them to be perfect straight away. So that's the guillotine. But we have these cut out and we have these cut out. We can get an A4 laminating document. As you will be able to see, one side doesn't open and that's the side that you feed into the laminator. So I'm going to open it up all the way. So as you can see, when we pick these up, they are going to be on the glossy side either. Both sides are going to be glossy, shiny, whatever you want to call it. And then basically you want to pull these two apart and it will reveal two dull sides. You're going to turn it over. So the two glossy sides should now be facing each other inside and we have the two dull sides on the outside. And then you should line them up, put it into the laminating sheet. You want to like get it quite into the edge and then line that up. You want to leave a gap here because this is where we're going to be hole punching it. And then you want to take your label and I eyeball it I guess you could get a ruler and try to be really precise I ain't got time for that <laughs> nor do I care so they're now not playing and then you want to just put that best in the middle that you can like so and I'm just placing that on top, making sure it's all lined up. And then, same again, we've got the two 
glossy sides, pull them apart, too dull, and flip it. And that is what creates the pouch. So I'm going to put this one in and I'm going to put it in as close to this side as possible because these two are going to be the opening sides. I'm actually going to leave this one as the blank one to show you. But if I was putting it, I would put it like this um, because otherwise it's going to be upside down. So I would put it like that, but I'm just going to leave that one blank and then take your third one again, flip it over and this one goes at the bottom like so. They fit in easily. Make sure that's all lined up, but it's not. <laughs> it, it is a little bit fiddly because they do... They do move quite a lot. Well, and also, I don't actually think I cut this one straight. No, I didn't. <laughs> Reject. Right. Good thing I've got a spare. Right, so, again, flip it. Put it down here. You want to leave enough room here for the borders because you don't want to cut too close and then also enough for the where you are going to hole punch so I'm just going to put that one there so it should look like this make sure that's facing that way that way and that way if they're all going to be labelled and then you want to pull this over move it to the side and turn on your laminator so I've turned my laminator on and just if you do have this one at home or you are interested in getting this one, I put it to 125. I don't actually even know what it means, but I just remember reading to do it at that. Um, so I'm just waiting for it to go green and then I'm going to feed this through. So I'm going to take this and feed it in, making sure that I'm feeding in from the closed side. This just prevents any air bubbles. So I'm just gonna slowly feed this in because they do move so they can easily like become all the wrong shape. It's happened to me the first few times. So that's just feeding in. So now that this is out of the laminator, it is ready to be cut. So I always separate this one first and this is just to separate them. I don't make it a very neat cut. So what I'm gonna do is open the pouch first and you are gonna need to trim a bit and then that just opens up the pouch like that. And then you just want to go around the borders, trimming it. I don't leave a massive gap, but obviously you don't want to go too close because otherwise it can undo. Because that's what it looks like. With um, this, I, I do eyeball it quite a bit. But what I tend to do is... go to either like the 10 between 10 and nine and a half and that's given me a border of that so that is this envelope all done and then for the clear one it's pretty much the same you want to gonna want to want to want to want to want to go close to the top that needs a little bit more off and then that is an open pouch. And then you just want to do the same on the sides. So that is your clear one. 
So, last one. See you later. See you later. And obviously, you can do whatever border you like. I know some people like them thick, some people don't. So, that's another good thing about these. It's just all personal preference. So, now we have our envelopes. So I'm back with the envelopes and I'm going to be using the hole punch. And what you need to do, if you have this one, I'm not sure about other ones, but you just pull it out ever so slightly till that line that says personal. And then what you want to, what you want to do is you slot this in like so they're not always going to be perfect but push that to the edge and i don't even know if that was in focus can you see that but yeah so it's got the holes in now so i'm going to do that with all of these so once again sliding that in so that the end is pressing on that and hole punch yeah cool so just as reference that's the wrong liner just for reference so that then fits into your personal a6 binder fits really well like so so that is that and then for these ones that were the clear ones which I have made one clear I would just use these stickers they just come off like that and I would put them there like so I don't need another one so I'm not going to do it but that is what it would look like and this is what it would look like with money so they are clear on the back and then the right in on front so yeah these are the final envelopes I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful I know I got quite a few requests on Instagram to do it, so I definitely just wanted to share it because I don't think I've seen one um, that made them oops, look like this, and I do really like the look of it. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in my next video.